preschoolers, welcome back. I want everyone to close our eyes. Now, imagine that this is what you see every day, darkness. Sometimes there may be hints of light in the shadows, but you cannot see your mom or dad, grandma or grandpa, brothers or sisters. How does that make you feel? Probably very sad, since you know what they look like and you have been able to see them your whole life. The man we are talking about today had never been able to see. He had been born blind. Think about that for a moment. When I ask you what a leaf looks like, you can imagine a leaf. Some are different shapes, some are different colors. When I ask you what a dog looks like, you can imagine a dog. You may imagine different kinds of dogs, but you have all at least seen one dog in your lifetime. This man had never seen anything. He made his way through life by touching. He probably did not go many places he was unfamiliar with. He would go to the same places every single day. Everyone around knew who he was. They knew he was the blind and had been his entire life. John 9, 1 through 12 tells us that this man would go beg for food and money. It was the only way he could feed and clothe himself. One day, Jesus and his disciples saw this man. Jesus told his disciples that God would use this man's blindness to show his power to the people everywhere. Isn't that amazing? Even today, that man's disability is showing us the power of our God through the Bible. So Jesus spit into the dirt, making some mud. I'm sure you guys have made mud before, or at least played in it. We have had lots of mud lately with all the rain we've had. It's gooey and pasty. Well, Jesus put this mud on the man's eyes. He told the man to leave the paste on and go wash off with water from a nearby pool. The man obeyed Jesus, and immediately he was able to see. God uses so many things to show people his power, strength, and protection. Sometimes we think that God is not helping us or is not with us, but this is not true. God is always with us. He uses his mighty power to help us through difficult times so that we can share his good news with everyone else. Jesus, please help us find strength during hard times. Please help us to use hard times to talk to you and to share your word with people who don't know you. We know you are all powerful. Thank you for everything you do. Amen. Remember, guys, I love you and God loves you too. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.